Hi, I'm Bailey. First off, I would like to thank the National Civic League Board for electing my mother as a recipient of this year's All-American Leader Award, in addition to renaming the award after her. What a, what a remarkable and much deserved honor. Her legacy speaks volumes and her impact reaches heights that I have never seen reached. Leadership has always been one of her most redeeming traits. As I look back on my mother and her professional career, she has always been someone that people look toward and seek. I remember when she took over as CEO of Oak Ridge in 2004. The, rep the reputation of the community was viewed in a dark light. In typical Terry fashion, she used that perceived negative light and turned this community into a beaming bright light. The things she has done in the 20 years she, it was, she was here is nothing short of incredible. She has instilled pride in this community, created opportunities for residents from adults, I mean, from toddlers to adults, and had community partners from all over the city come be a part of the magic she created. She was a driving force in our world and made sure that everywhere she went, her presence was felt. The amount of lives she's touched and impacted are unprecedented. Civic involvement has always been a very important part of her because she wanted to make sure her voice could be heard and can hold weight for individuals that look like her. My mother grew up in the midst of the civil rights movement and knew what it was like to have your voice not be heard because she was African American and she was a woman. This and the teachings from her well-educated parents added motivation for her to make sure women and people of ethnic races had seats at the table to share their voice. Her mission was always to make our community inclusive and equitable for all people. Being at the forefront of civic involvement allowed her to inspire many in our city. What my mother would say to aspiring civic leaders is to stay true to your why. Remember your purpose and don't lose sight of your reason. In our society, it can be hard to make change but if you stay consistent with your message, take risks, get involved locally, and join different communities, your why will be heard and spread throughout. Hi, I'm Baxter. Thank you, National Civic League, for honoring my mom and her legacy. She's definitely a true trailblazer. When I think of community, um, I think of my mom. She instilled with me at a young age that community matters. And you have to have that around you. And what she did was create that for so many people, including us. So I just wanna say thank you guys for honoring my mom. Yes, my name is Vernon and I am Terry's husband of 38 years. And I would like to thank the National Civic League for uh, this honor. And as you have heard, uh, her son, Bailey, and her daughter, Baxter, talked about her leadership, which is so important, not only here in Des Moines, but across the country. And this award shows us exactly what that meant by you naming the award after her. So, <clears throat> I would like to say that uh, what's a leader? My answer would be uh, a leader is someone who is humbled by the magnitude of what needs to be done, but yet not immobile by the fear of failure. That was Terry. That was her mantra. That's what she lived off of. She always looks, looked ahead. She never veered right, left, whatever. When there was things needed to be done, things needed to be changed, she was right there at the forefront. And she was not only a leader in, of this community and across the nation, she was a mother, a wife, a friend to us all here. And I greatly appreciate all of the efforts, what she put into this community and across the nation. And I thank you for honoring her in this fashion. Thank you.